Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In the last couple of lectures, you learned how you can use port security to prevent unauthorized devices like wireless access points and switches on your network. In this lecture, you'll learn how you can use port security to lock interfaces down to a particular host based on its MAC address. Before we get to that, this works in conjunction with the maximum MAC addresses setting of port security. When you enable port security on an interface, this defaults to one. So a maximum of one MAC address is allowed to send traffic into the port. You can increase that if you need to, if multiple hosts share that one physical port. For example, if you've got an IP phone plugged in there, with a PC plugged into the back of the IP phone, and both the phone and the PC need to use that one physical port on the switch. To do that, go to the interface, so our example, interface fast 0 slash 2, switch port, port security, maximum 2. It will now allow two MAC addresses to send traffic into that port. To verify this, the same command as usual, show port security interface, it was fast 0 slash 2, and this shows you the difference between the maximum MAC address and the total MAC address output that you see here. Maximum MAC addresses is the total that is allowed to send traffic into the port. Total MAC addresses is how many are currently detected on the port. So here we've allowed two, but it's only discovered one MAC address so far. Okay, so let's talk about how to lock the port down to particular hosts based on their MAC address. We can manually add the MAC address that is allowed on a particular port. To do that, the configuration here, we've said interface fast 0 slash 10, switch port port security to enable port security, switch port port security MAC address 1111.2222.3333, for example, and then switch port port security maximum 1. Once we've done this, it's only that one MAC address that is allowed to send traffic into this port. If any other MAC address tries to send traffic in, it's going to get blocked and it will take the violation action, which by default is to shut down the port. But let's look at another scenario. So the reason you would do this would be a highly secure environment. Let's say it's a bank. But let's say for this example that it's the headquarters and there's 1,000 PCs there. So we've currently got those 1,000 PCs, which are authorized hosts, already connected to the network and we want to lock it down that it's only those PCs that are allowed on the network and only on the port that they're already connected to. Well, obviously, it wouldn't be scalable for us to find out those 1,000 MAC addresses and then go and configure all the switches, locking that one MAC address down to that one particular port. That just isn't really feasible from an administrative point of view. But thankfully, there's an easy way that we can get the same effect, and that's by using sticky MAC addresses. Sticky MAC addresses add the learned MAC address to the running configuration. So you saw already from the earlier lessons that when a host starts transmitting on the port, the switch will learn the MAC address. With sticky MAC addresses, it can learn the MAC address that is already connected to the port. When it does this, it adds that MAC address to the running configuration, associating it with the port for port security. You can then save that to the startup config and that will make it permanent. So that locks the port down to the PC that is currently plugged into the port without you having to manually specify what the MAC address is. The configuration to do this, interface fast 0 slash 2, switch port port security, and then switch port port security MAC address sticky. 
Now, there is a lot of confusion with this and people get confused between what's the difference between when I say MAC address sticky and when I just don't mention the MAC address. I'll show you that when we do the lab demo and it's going to make it clear. Okay, once we've configured this to verify the MAC addresses that are associated with the different interfaces, you can do a show port security address. Here I can see on fast ethernet zero slash two, there's a MAC address that was dynamically configured. So this was automatically learned. The same with the MAC address on fast zero slash three. The MAC address on zero slash 10, I can see it's secure configured. It was manually added. The MAC address 1.2. Dot three. Okay, so that's so you can check the MAC addresses associated with your different interfaces for port security. And finally, we can also put in a command to view a summary of all the ports on the switch. This is useful if you want to see if any ports have been shut down because they're violating all in one output with a single command. To do that, it is show port security. Okay, so that was the theory and also the command examples of how to configure port security to lock your ports down to particular hosts. In the next lecture, I'll show you how to configure this as well. And like I said, it's going to, it's going to clear up any confusion you had about having no MAC address specified, having a manually set MAC address, or using the sticky addresses. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.